Mabuhai, kumusta kayo? Welcome to MJ and the Echo. I'm M Angel, and we are reacting to Katrina Velarde again. And she is singing Never Enough from the movie The Greatest Showman. This time I did do a little bit of homework. I wanted to listen to the original just so I can have an idea. Now that I'm ready, let's see what Katrina has to offer. I'm sure she's gonna do a great job, but no expectations. That's what ruins a good time. Let's go. is so Taylor Swift by the way. I've been blown out of the water. <laughs> oh, Katrina, Katrina, you are never enough for me, girl. I can get some more, 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 more. <laughs> okay, sorry. Composure. Let's get a little bit adult in here. That was brilliant, of course. This song is epic. It is definitely the type of song I see Filipinos singing all across. It's got them ballads, it's got them notes, it's got that awe moment. It's amazing. And this girl who sings it, Lauren Allred, killed it. My god, what a voice. She was on The Voice, actually, on Adam Levine's Teen in season three. Apparently she didn't make it to the end. I did not see a live rendition of the song, so I can only in my head compare it to what Lauren Allred did in the recorded version of Never Enough, which is of course gonna be brilliant because it's recorded. So I'd love to see someone else try this on live. And as 
Unless Lauren was singing, I was thinking this is the kind of song only a Celine and a Regine can take on. You have to have an Ean in your name, basically. And Katrina has an Ean in her name. Oh, so she qualifies as someone who can take this song on. And clearly, she can take the song on and on and on. There was an absence of breath that gave me pause because I felt out of breath for her, but I have tiny lungs. But she clearly doesn't. She must have a reservoir. I mean, when she belted and showed us the interior of her lungs all the way down, them bronx, bronchitis, why are you called them? Bronchioles? They looked healthy. She got nice bronxes. Yes, those vocal cords are tightened and sharpened and she did a phenomenal job for a song that is Broadway worthy and difficult to belt. And that's usually not up my alley. I like a little dash of belt, you know, just like nutmeg really sparingly. Sometimes it felt like she was struggling and pushing just a little much, like the song felt a tiny bit too big for her, but she held her own. And for a little mama diva, that is incredible. Props. And I will never say enough to give her her just dues. Never, never. I always enjoy Katrina's performances, not just because she looks like a perfect porcelain doll, silky smooth and just done up, but because her voice is also porcelain smooth and crystal clear and strong, yet airy at when it needs to be. She really gave it a personality and this kind of song can easily fall flat and sound like vanilla cake, just neutral, but it didn't. And I think that if it was studio produced, I would prefer Katrina's version over Lauren's, even though Lauren's voice is killer and it has that depth that I usually look for. I don't know, something about Katrina's voice is just, I live for it. I love it, girl. Mm. All right, I'm gonna keep gushing on forever. I think I've said enough. It's your turn to let us know what did you think of Katrina Velarde's cover of Never Enough from The Greatest Showman, which is a movie I should watch and review. What do you think? Should I? Let us know in the comment section below. We always love hearing from you. Before you go, please be kind. Click on that like button. Subscribe to Music Game News if you haven't already. And if you have subscribed, turn on the notification bell if you haven't already, so you'll be notified when a new video comes out and you won't miss out on all the fun and silliness around here. Maraming salamat po. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you had a great time. I definitely did. Peace be with you. And yaya yum. Yeah, yeah,